Our top story tonight, refusing to compromise. That's how Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe described the GOP-controlled House of Delegates when we asked him about that today. McAuliffe has vowed to expand Medicaid for low-income residents without the help of legislators. Tenure Side's Liz Palka is here with more on what the governor had to say about his plan. Liz? Well, and we sought out Governor Terry McAuliffe when he was in Virginia Beach today. We asked him about Medicaid expansion and his vow to make it happen here in Virginia. He had a point he stuck to. He said, this is our money. We've already given it to the federal government, and now we're going to bring it back to the com Commonwealth. Friday, the governor said he would pass a budget, but with several line item vetoes. Two of the vetoes are related to Medicaid expansion that House Republicans have been trying to prevent. He says the expansion will create jobs but also provide health care for 400,000 poor Virginians as part of the Affordable Care Act. He added he's glad the Senate plans to uphold his vetoes. I met with the Senate leadership yesterday, and uh, they're going to sustain my veto. So, listen, at the end of the day, we should work together in a bipartisan way, compromise, and move forward. Again, McAuliffe said House Republicans refused to compromise on health care, and it's something he's been trying to convince them of for months. The House Speaker has called the House back into session tomorrow. Speaker William J. Howell said the House will be reviewing all of the governor's vetoes. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.